Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Phaser program. We've developed a series of short educational videos about phaser and pharmacogenomic testing at the VA. We invite you to view one or more of them to inform the use and application of testing in your practice. The goal of this video is to serve as a resource and guide in introducing pharmacogenomics testing, often abbreviated as PGX testing, to your patients. Before beginning this video, we encourage you to watch two videos, an introduction to the phaser program and the science of pharmacogenomics. By now, you're likely familiar with the phaser program and understand the value PGX testing can bring to your patients. Communicating with your patients about PGX can be easy, but it is critical to promote informed and shared decision-making. Let's highlight important points that should be covered when speaking with your patients about the phaser program and PGX testing before you order the test. Prior to introducing the concept of PGX testing to your patient, we recommend you begin by providing a brief overview of the phaser program. Since the term pharmacogenomics might be challenging for patients to comprehend, we recommend using genetic testing for medicines, an example that can be used in introducing the program and PGX testing could sound something like this. Genetic testing for medications is now available to VA patients. This testing is a blood test that looks for changes in a person's genetic makeup that may influence how they respond to nearly 40 different medicines. Your doctors and pharmacists can use the test results to adjust the dose or type of medicine to better align with your profile, because not all patients are the same. Even if you're not currently taking a medicine covered by this test, we know that there are common medicines prescribed to veterans. These test results will be stored in the computer. In some cases, having this information before you're prescribed a medication may help prevent an adverse event. A transcript of wording that can be provided to guide patient discussions about phaser testing can be found with our provider quick guide document located on our SharePoint website. Pharmacogenomic testing looks at DNA that you've inherited from a parent or both parents and could be passed on to your offspring or shared with your siblings. In some cases, the test result may uncover an increased risk for certain health conditions. If your pharmacogenomic test result uncovers something relevant to you or your family's health, you and your provider will be informed, and you may be referred for additional testing or referral to a specialist. Genetic testing for medicines can provide additional information that will help your doctors select a more appropriate medicine and dose for you. Using the test results, along with what we already know about you, may help reduce side effects or improve effects. To get tested, we'll need a blood sample that's collected by our laboratory and sent to a testing facility that's in South Dakota. Test results take about two weeks to come back to the VA. A copy of these results will also be sent to you so that you can share it with any of your doctors or pharmacists outside VA. After introducing PGX testing, you can gauge whether your patient would like to hear more. If yes, you can use this time to provide a bit more detail about PGX testing, including its purpose, benefits, limitations, risks, what's required from the patient, and what they can expect from the test results. As the case with most gene panels, there are a few considerations and limitations associated with this test that should be recognized and understood by provider and patient alike. Notably, it should be acknowledged that only a subset of genes are being analyzed on this panel, and that there are likely other genes that may impact drug response that are not tested using this panel. Moreover, PGX testing is one piece of the puzzle in choosing the type and dose of a medicine and it is ultimately the provider's decision upon compiling all variables important for determining drug response when choosing a specific medication and dose. Given this, it should be conveyed to your patient that they should not alter their medications in any way without discussing any changes with their prescribing provider. For more provider and patient FAQs, see our SharePoint site. At the conclusion of the discussion with your patient, you should document this interaction in the medical record, regardless of whether your patient opted to proceed with PGX testing or not. A step-by-step -step guide on documenting phaser discussions with your patients is available in the video entitled, How to Order Phaser PGX Testing. Thank you for your time and attention throughout this video. Patient education materials are available on our SharePoint website. We hope you found this information to be valuable to you and your clinic. Should you have any questions and or feedback about this video or the phaser program in general, please refer to our website or contact your local site champion.